I want to tell you about the tabular method. Uh, if you have a integral of the form x to the power of n um, e to some form of e to the x dx, or if you have x to the power of n, say sine of some form of x dx, or x to the power of n cosine of some ax dx, you can use a tabular method that is really fast, that saves you time. So how do you do that? First of all, it is called tabular because you are making the table. You are making the table. So let's have an example of that. Suppose I have uh, something of the x to the second cosine of x dx. Well, this is one of those forms. I have x to the n cosine of some form of cosine of x dx. So here is the table that we are going to be making, which is really simple. All I need is three columns. The first one is for the sine. The first one is first column is for the sine plus minus then always start with positive and then alternate. The second column is for u and then the third column is your for dv. In this case, u being x squared and I'm gonna take the derivative and go down 2x to zero, I don't have to do anymore. How about my dv cosine of x? Then I get uh, integral of that is sine of x, then minus cosine of x, and then minus sine of x. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, let's put these arrows. So the answer to this integral is the product of positive x squared times sine of x. then product of minus two X times minus cosine of X. And then positive two X times minus sine of X plus some constant C, <coughs> excuse me. Let's do another example. How about integral of, um, let me change color. x cubed e to the x dx. So let's do our. So first one was for the sine u dv, starting with positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. u in this case is x cubed, so 3x to the second, 6x, 6, 6, 0 dv is e to the x, integral of that is e to the x, and then e to the x, and then e to the x, and then e to the x. So this equals, let me put my arrows, this goes to this, this goes to this, this goes to this, this goes to this. So this equals uh, positive x cubed times uh, e to the x, then minus 3x squared times e to the x, then plus six x e to the x, then plus six times, oh, minus six times, right here, right here. Uh, minus six e to the x plus c, as fast as that. Now let's do one last example. Let's make this one something like again, x cubed again, uh, this time sine of x dx. Okay, here is come the table. So for sign, start with a positive, alternate. I don't think I need more. Uh, u would be x cubed, 3x to the second, 6x, 6, six uh, 0, and uh, dv would be sine of x, 
And then antiderivative of that is minus cosine of x, antiderivative of that is minus sine of x, antiderivative of that is cosine of x, and then back to sine of x. And here's our arrows. And so the answer to this is positive x cubed times minus cosine of x is minus x cubed cosine of x. And then you have um, minus 3x squared times minus sine of x gives me plus 3x squared sine of x. And then you have 6x times cosine of x, so plus 6x cosine of x. And then you have uh, minus 6, minus 6 sine of x, and then plus c. So here is the answer. Um, I think you're going to like this tabular method. Uh, at least I hope so. Okay, I'll talk to you soon.